old Alabama gardener, and today I'm going to talk about yellow crookneck squash and some interesting points about it. The first thing I want to point out about this squash is I want you to notice how warty it is. This is an old heirloom variety, and as you can see, it is unlike the fancy smooth skin squash that you find in the grocery stores, but this one has a much better flavor. On this next one, I want you to notice the pronounced crook in the neck. Now let's start removing some of the seeds. Notice how hard that squash shell is. Now this is one that has a thick skin. And now we can start getting the seeds out and dry them for storage for next year. Now on this next one, notice how easy the shell is breaking. This is a thin shell one. Now let's hold a thin piece and a thick piece close together so you can see a comparison of it. Interesting, isn't it, about how some squash has thick skin, some has thin skin. But you only get that in the heirloom varieties. Now let's look at another interesting aspect of it. This is a double. For some reason, in the bloom, it doesn't separate. So is it a thick skin or a thin skin? Well, let's open it and we'll see. Looks to me like it's neither, but yet it is somewhere in between. Not as thick as the thick skin, but not as thin as the thin skin ones. So will the seeds from this double tend to produce more doubles in a plant? Uh, next year, and we'll have to wait till then and see. Here's some of this year's crop produced from seeds just like these that we're saving. <laughs> 